Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we're going to check out Songbird Symphony. Now let me tell you guys, this game surprised the hell out of me. I was playing it all day today and I loved it so much that I just had to start a new game just to show you guys early parts of the actual game itself because it's fun. It's about a little bird. Your name is Burb, actually. You play as a fat little bird named Burb and early on in the game you find out that you were kind of adopted after you hatched from this other bird but you find out that your quest your, your main mission in this game is to uh to find out who you are like where you're where you're from and stuff like that so you're like a cute little fat orphan bird and uh it's a platforming game it has a retro aesthetic and look and everything it has very charming music like music is the key to this game there's a lot of like rhythm based gameplay and like it's almost like guitar hero when you see certain parts of the levels especially the boss fights and the puzzle solving you'll see certain button in button inputs pop up on screen you kind of got to time it and stuff but what really got me about this was just the the amount of emotion and character from this game like there's really a lot of character especially with the little cute guy like <laughs> He's just tugging at my heartstrings seeing seeing him. Like there was just stuff about this this game that just really captivated me and just got me in the feels for whatever reason. I mean the music for one. And uh I want you guys to hear a little bit of it while we are playing. So this kind of introduces you to the idea right here. This is your uncle, your uncle that saved you. So here we go. You see him start singing. Boom, boom, boom. So this is the general idea to do gameplay like this and it picks up and then eventually you get like left button press, right button press, you get the A button, the X button, you get a variety of different button presses that you got to do. So it definitely picks up on the challenge. And sometimes it, I, I do screw up because I don't have rhythm. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is where it really gets jamming right now. Look at this cute little dance. Look at look at Burb's dance. Like, how do you not fall in love with this game? And it has a lot of singing too. It's just such a happy little game, honestly, and, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I played it for like a few hours today and I was like you know what I'm gonna start over just so I can show the guys that watch my channel how awesome this game is and I haven't seen anybody talk about it that's the thing and you got all these great little indie games that just have these interesting themes that try new stuff out like this is not like a I have not played anything like this I think the only like rhythm based game I could think of recent years was also Cadence to Hyrule or Crypt of the Necro Dancer, but this is nothing like it. This is like a platforming game combined with Guitar Hero together. And uh, this is just like the introduction to the game mechanics, so it should be ending right here. These are like the, the boss fights, if you were to say it. And you need to use these abilities to solve puzzles and proceed and get access to different areas and stuff you'll see it kind of has a little metroidvania vibe to it too because there is some light backtracking you gotta enjoy the dance guys so there we go that was an example of what the boss fights are like in the game there's a charming story where you meet different personalities different characters and stuff and you kind of have to like go to different areas of the map and explore and things like that so i personally think it is actually a really neat game uh again this flew completely under the radar for me i know i say that a lot about a lot of games but man this was like way off the radar this is like stealth gaming i didn't even know about this so you're going to see, I'm going to uh, proceed further into the game. And I, I, I have to find who I am. See, so. And I'm sorry if I'm skipping through some of the, uh, some of the dialogue. And you gather these feathers as you progress. So here we go. Now we are going 
further into the woods. We're going to meet up with the owl. The wise owl. And you'll find different characters that you can help. That ask for help. The Forest of Echoes. Alright, so... There's one feather there that just randomly appeared. And you'll, you'll find stuff that you gotta unlock. Puzzles and levers. Things like that. So it is pretty standard with the platforming. But I love how they threw the music aspect into it. For some reason. And I don't know why, but this, this game is just one of those that really resonated with me. The way, the way that the music is. The personality. The charm. The... The, you know, just overall vibe of the game. Honestly, like, I, I absolutely fell in love with it, like, quickly. So we're going to go to go Owl's, Owl's House. And you're going to see another example of, of this game uh, doing the whole, like, music rhythm based type of, uh, type of vibe to it. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so here we go. We are Owl's house. Such a cute little bird. Look at these graphics, man. This is what indie gaming is all about. Oh, such a creepy thing. You know what used to scare me a lot? The 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 owl from uh from the Odyssey. Or from Clash of the Titans. That's what it was. Or Jason and the Argonauts. One of those freaking Greek mythology movies. Don't fret for the owls here. So I'm, I'm curious about what species I am. I just want to find out where my mommy and daddy are. So here we go. I missed it. Bump, bump, bump. Sometimes it gets a little tricky on those last ones. And it doesn't really penalize you, honestly. You can go back and try to get your score better. I've, I've, I've had some pretty failed attempts. See, so I'm not the best at this game, but this game definitely has won me over. I gotta say, honestly, this is probably one of the most enchanting games I've ever played in my life. And I know it seems like I'm sucking this game off quite a bit, but I quickly fell in love with it, especially once you start proceeding through the stages, meeting different characters and stuff. See, so now I'm getting X. thrown into there. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm bombing quickly. So it doesn't really penalize you like I said. I mostly wanted to share this game because of the way that the graphics look, the soundtrack, and just how high quality of an indie game that this really is. And my most humble opinion, this is a game that definitely needs to get a physical release. You know, like if Limited Run or somebody is considering it, you need to do it. Oh, I almost got a B score right there. But now I have the X so I could proceed and go to areas that I need to do an X note at. And you'll see, there'll be different areas where we can unlock. Burb. Burb the bird. Have you heard? The bird is the word, guys. Looking for his real parents. How sad. It's a tragedy, guys. The 
there's a way to find out. So the artifact in the middle has two of them. Two of those lings are lit blue. I have to get four more to beat the game. So that's the objective. You go to four different locations. You get new notes. So right now I have the up and the X. Eventually you get more notes. The magical power of music. So the idea is you go around. You sing the songs. You get the notes. Stuff like that. So it's a very music based. Of course. Because you know birds sing right? Birdie sing. So I'm going on a magical journey. Now we're going to the balcony and we're gonna go up the elevator. So here we go guys, continuing on. We're gonna go up the balcony. So it, it's, now I have access to a new area. So the, like I said, the light, I wouldn't say Metroidvania, I'm only saying that just because you have to get or obtain certain ways of access and certain areas so you got to get like the song notes to do certain puzzle unlocks open doors stuff like that but it's not directly a metroidvania so don't don't absolutely quote me on that but it's more of like a it's a combination of like a rhythm puzzle platformer game if i was to to place it into any kind of narration of, of a genre now this this area right here is really cool you're gonna see me slipping and sliding and it's it's all self-controlled but it's still cute like look at this and listen to the music. Like such a great little game, guys. Like, for real. And I would love to jump down that. <laughs> that would be so much fun. Alright, so now we're in the next area. There we are. So the idea is now we go around and we see what else needs to be done in order to uh, to proceed the level. But you could see freaking try. Look, these are chickens, patrolling night chickens. Like, if you're not sold on this game already, you you don't have a heart, guys. So, yeah. Ooh, secret area. What could it be? Look, see. See, I just opened a new puzzle. And let's see if we have something down here. Here we go. So you can see that's that's the way that you solve some of the puzzles using Well okay so it's X up up X X X No it's X up up X X up There we go <laughs> Sorry I, I don't have rhythm guys I'm telling you I'm probably one of the worst rhythm people I can't dance at all Oh look Pudgy little bird, come here. Chicken fairy. So, they want me to break them out of jail. <laughs> out of chicken jail, guys. Definitely, look, now here's another quest. I gotta go find these chickens mothers so uh, definitely a lot of different puzzle elements and stuff and I just really wanted to share this game with you look so here's mommy Let's just listen to that music guys other chicky come here chickity I want some chicken nuggets <laughs> so we got two more go 
glide across. I think there might be another one over here. I think I saw one over here. Yep. I knew it. I told you. I got a mind like an elephant, guys. I never, ever forget. And then now, the last one. Spoilers. Um, it's going to send me on a fetch quest. You'll see here in a minute. Which I'm probably not going to continue or proceed. I just want to give you guys a little... A little taste, you know, a little a little flavor of this game. I want you guys to sit down and experience the rest for yourselves. I don't want to give away the whole thing for you guys. Because you know what? Part of gaming has experienced it for yourself. And I sat here and played the whole entire game for you guys on one sitting. You won't have any fun with it. But honestly, hopefully by now, you guys have an idea of whether this is a game that you would want to... Sink your teeth into. I mean, just take a look at this. Look, look at this. It's so cute. The Grand Emperor Rooster. The one and only. Look, he's on top of his throne. Burb. Looking for his family. So it's a quest to find your family. So now I have to go find the woodpecker. And get him to make a new throne. But you guys get the general idea. Such a cute game. Songbird Symphony. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Is this something that you think you could check out? And if you are brand new to the channel guys. Feel free to throw a subscription. And if you stuck around. Click that like button. It helps me out very much. Thanks a lot, guys, as always, for watching the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again guys for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing and don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again guys. Peace out.